Have you ever wondered how to create a great online profile for yourself? How much better you could prosper if you had one? Dr. Mark Kosman and Charlie Seymour Jr. sat down to discuss that topic. Here is one of the 10 questions and answers they have. Well, Dr. Mark, here we are with some questions and we trust some answers so that everybody that's, <laughs> that's our job <laughs> that is our job so that everyone that has been watching what we've been doing on create your own legend now webinar we promise to answer some more questions so that you get a real good sense of what we're doing and how we're able to do some things so we have questions that have been sent to us already that we submitted to you in your handout in your guide along in the webinar so let's go down these and answer these questions okay All right. so here was the first one I'm a therapist how do I know where to begin with all that you offer and what is the path that I follow to create my online profile? Well, that's the thing. I, I think a lot of people can, I mean, we covered a lot of stuff, it can get we overwhelming. Did. And so you want to understand that it is step by step by step. And we've tried over our experience to map out exactly what we've done, what works, and what works in what order. So in our system, you're going to begin by doing an assessment and looking at what you look like right now. So you're going to the four phases. Right. You're going to go through the four phases. <coughs> the main work is going to be in the create phase where we have the nine, the nine steps that we're going to go through. But you're always going to start by just checking out where you're at to begin with. I mean, it's, uh, you're just checking in what's your beginning point? What do you look like when you search online? So that's where you're going to start. You're going to keep it simple. Do I like what I see? Right. And if I don't, then what steps do I have to take well, and what do I do? I mean, that's really what we would tell them right. to do in this whole system. Exactly. The heart of the matter is certainly on create. So you're, you're going to do that assessment. You're going to define how you want to be looked, uh, how, you, how you want to look in that defined sort of phase. And then you're going to start in order. You're going to start by writing some articles about things you already know. You're going to look at what you've already written in your career and see what you can recycle. I mean, what are the main topic areas you want to cover? Now, one organizing system is this notion by starting at the end, you know, the number nine about becoming a best-selling author about writing a book. I actually think that's a great way to organize your entire plan for whether you want to do this in a year, two years, you define your time frame, but start by outlining the ground you want to cover. Yes. You can now use that as the backbone, as the framework that you're now going to sort of cut it apart piece by piece by piece get it down into monthly chunks if that's the frame that works well for you you can even break it down into weekly chunks and then define the different modalities you're going to use so which parts am I going to write little articles about uh, am I going to repurpose those to be my blog posts am I going to sit down then and record the audio for that and the video for that so that can be the organizing principle and I, I actually recommend that if you're in a hurry and you want to do what we did you want to be the best-selling author first then you got to kind of do the crash course of the bestseller in under 91 days but if not I would start with a really good outline that becomes your blueprint your roadmap and of course you don't have to be a therapist to follow this it could be any of the people of course, but anybody when people identify who they are we want to share that with you right okay 